Hey guys, my name's Eth Goes Boom, and welcome back to Let's Play Portal. Now let's get into this. Alright, so last time we did the first two tests, which were technically test 0 and test 1. And now we're going to do test number 2, which is going to involve me getting a portal gun. Yay! Alright, so the portal is... Well, the portal gun is shooting portals through. Whoa! Okay. Oh, damn it. Okay, there's no portal there now. As you can see. We've got to wait for the portal gun to shoot a portal through that little cube on the left and into the wall. So then I can walk through it and grab my portal gun. Okay, he hasn't fired one over here just yet. But he's going to. I have faith in you, portal gun, please. <clears throat> Damn. I think I've got a bit of a sore throat today. I keep... My voice keeps cracking. Like my voice is a bit dry. My throat is a bit dry. But you know what? I don't care. I record videos either way. Because that's what I love doing. I record videos. Even when I'm sick, I'm going to do it. Okay, I've been standing here for like... Whoa! Ah! Whoa, holy shit. That was so close. Okay. Portal's open. Now let's get through here before it shoots another one. Alright, so let's jump down there and grab that gun. I'm coming for you. Whoa, whoa, ooh, that was Very so good. Whoa. <laughs> you are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. Yes. Okay, so I got it. Is it L1 or With R1? It, you can create your own portals. Uh. Oh, These there we go. gates have proven to be completely safe. Well, that's good. Oh, the that was it. The device, however, oh. has not. Okay. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Well, that's pretty self-explanatory. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Okay. I think that's pretty do, much. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Okay. A lot of rules Most here. importantly, yeah. under no circumstances should you. Okay. I don't know why GLaDOS spazzes out like that. I don't know if she does that intentionally to freak us out or because she only controls herself. Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. Uh huh. So the little trick here is to shoot a portal through there, and if I run through there, I'll come out on the opposite side and avoid the gap completely. As you can see, you can see me on the other on the other end there. Okay, uh, now I'm going to shoot a portal over there. Whee! And go back through this red one. As you can see. Well done. Okay. Remember, the Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. Yeah, that whole Bring Her Daughter to Work Day thing, I've heard that that's a, an important plot point in this series, but I haven't really come across that yet. So... Well, I know my character is a female, so maybe that has something to do with why she's here. Maybe her father works for the laboratories and he brought her here and maybe she got captured and tested on, I don't know. Something like that, probably. Loading! Woo! I love loading screens. Loading screens are just the best, aren't they? Alright, so is this the fourth test? We're doing pretty good! We've already done two tests in one video. Welcome to test chamber four. Awesome. You're doing quite well. Thank you. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I gotta... Oh, okay. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Oh, wait, what? Oh, there's a cube. I didn't see the cube. Alright, let's uh, shoot a portal down there. And go down and grab the cube. I actually love these cubes. They're awesome. Especially when you get the, uh, the companion cube later in the game. Alright, so let's place them on the button. And Once a button. Again. Excellent work. Thank you. I appreciate the positive support. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. Awesome. <laughs> I love because GLaDOS's voice sounds like it's auto-tuned. It's like, you'll be entirely on your own. Sounds like she's singing. It's awesome. I've always wanted to do something with auto-tuning my voice. Because I, I've heard that in order for auto tune to work correctly, you have to sing off key, which I'm a pro at. I can't sing properly, as you can probably tell. But I think I've sung in a few of my videos already. Uh, number five, awesome. We're doing pretty good. Getting some progress done. Okay, so I need to get up there. All right, let's shoot a portal uh, here, and so we land on the platform. Awesome. Now let's shoot a portal over there where the cube is. Yay. And now we just turn around. Wait, there's a there's a gap over there. Oh, there's another cube down there. 
I'll have to figure that out in a second, but for the moment, I'll grab this cube. Okay. Grab this cube, put him on the button. Oh, oh, oh. I like in these Half-Life games like Portal and Stanley Parable and all that, there's a lot to do with the buttons. There's always buttons. I like big buttons and I cannot lie. Alright. Alright, cool, got the second one. Whoa, whoa. Game seems to lag sometimes when I go through the portals. I think it's because of the recording software. Yeah, I've had a few people say to me, oh yeah, your video lags in... Whoa. Let go. Let go. She's not letting go. Okay. She's not letting go. I mean, it's a woman. Yeah, I've had some people say, yeah, your videos lag sometimes, and I... Uh, I don't really notice it when I'm playing. As part of a required <coughs> test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Oh, okay. Uh, Good okay. job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. Okay. So I guess I gotta get up there. We. Yeah, anyway, as I was saying, yeah, I don't seem to notice the lag when I'm actually playing the games, but when I export the footage, it sometimes lags after I look at it. I think it's it's not the game, it's the recording f uh, the recording software. Because when I was playing this game just normally, the game never lagged. I think it's the recording software, so apologies for that. I tried setting, like when I started recording this and I was messing around with the Stanley Parable, I tried messing around with the settings so uh, to prevent as much lag as possible, because I think Stanley Parable was probably the worst in terms of lagging. And then my videos after that were pretty good. Uh, okay. This will be the last uh, test that I'll do for this video. This, how, Jesus, this is like the fifth one that I've done. While safety is one of many enrichment center goals, the Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. Well, that's good to know. Alright, so that's an energy pellet, and whenever you see one of these, you generally have to get it into this thing right here. I don't know what you'd call that, like a... Please be careful. I don't freaking know. Okay, I will. Thank you. And usually if you see like an orange light on the roof, it generally means you have to shoot a portal there. And as you can see, the energy pellet will come off of that, go through the portal, and hit that thing. Yay! Unbelievable. You. Subject name here. Must be the Prada. Subject Hong Kong here. Uh, it's Ethan from the hometown, which I won't reveal because I don't really want to mention that on the internet. All right, cool. That was uh the the that was what was that the sixth test? I can't. I wasn't really paying attention. I think that was the sixth one, maybe. I was pretty sure we've done four or five tests in this video. Okay. Another elevator. You guys love your elevators, huh? What's with the padded walls? Looks like a pillow or a mattress on the on the wall. Okay, so we're up to Well, this test looks pretty interesting. Alright, I'm gonna pause this here and I will come back to it uh uh probably tomorrow or something. So that was portal part two. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Um and I hope my friend Nightingale, who requested these videos, is also enjoying it. So thank you guys so much for watching, liking, and subscribing. I just want to take this time to just say thank you. I've got 20 subscribers so far, as of the time that I'm recording this video. And I want to thank each and every one of you 20 people out there who subscribed. I know some of you are my friends, and some of you are just uh, people that I met through the gaming community. I just want to thank all of you for subscribing and for continuously watching my videos. It really means a lot to me. Because this is my dream, really. So um, I'm glad that I've gotten the opportunity to do this. And I'm glad that I've met so many awesome people online who have helped me with this. So um, anyway, thank you guys. Uh, thanks for liking and subscribing. I think I said that already. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everyone.